Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. We're getting ready to do a Pisces love reading. We're looking at the overall energy for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to the channel and we have a holiday special pinned in the comments section. Pisces, beautiful uncaging. So we have the energy of you in this this really releasing your heart really somebody has a key to your heart the roses kiss who are you kissing pisces Ooh, it looks really sweet lovely and look at let it go pisces you are being called forth to absolutely open your heart space and just allow love in let it go so let's look at the overall energy at the bottom of the deck for our Pisces friends in love. Let's see what we have here. I'm going to do this. Okay, so what do we have at the bottom? We have Seven of Pentacles, an investment in love. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on here with you. So in the recent past, you and a lover have felt the Queen of Swords energy, the Libra Queen, a balanced queen, somebody who's very beautiful, who's very aware of what it takes to make a relationship work, somebody who's very balanced. The Queen of Swords is someone who judges, that wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and you're both in this very honest energy. I like it. Very honest, very balanced Libra energy, the ruler of the seventh house. Both of you are in the energy of wanting a serious relationship and being willing to cut anyone out who doesn't really meet that requirement. In the current mutual energy, two of cups, Pisces. You're feeling very emotional. The person that you're with, this is this is a bride and the groom holding up their chalice of love during a wedding ceremony. It's a classic meaning of it. Two of Cups is very much um, a card that says you're highly invested. You're in love with your person and you're offering your cup of love. We see this beautiful uncaging of hearts. You know, the kiss of the rose and letting yourselves go into this energy. It is also the soulmate card of the minor arcana, how your person views the two of you going forward, high priestess. They're really keeping very quiet. They're nurturing the relationship. They feel that this is an incredible, beautiful, special time in their lives. It's a very spiritual energy. It says that they are very protective. They're not talking about it. They're just working to manifest this energy with you. How they view you, Pisces. The Two of Swords is someone who's not really opening up. They view you as keeping to yourself, that you're not really um, open as much as they would like you to be. They really feel as though you've got this, that you're taking a weight to see attitude, that you're staying very logical. It again is Libra energy. In their heart space, how do they feel? The Eight of Wands, they want to move towards you in a very passionate, loving way, Sagittarius energy. The energy of wanting to travel with you, make love with you, laugh with you, have fun, philosophize with you. The ninth house, you may meet this person if you're younger at university. You may meet this person when you travel, but it is a card of very enthusiastic, fun-loving energy, and it's moving rapidly forward. The eights are our manifestation of a very passionate, fiery, loving connection. The energy that you have here in terms of how your person views the situation unfolding, we have the Page of Cups. We have two cups up here being offered, two cups here. So this looks like it's early in a relationship and Pisces, your person just doesn't see you open yet, though they feel as though, they just feel as though you're not ready to make a decision. So let's see what we also have here in terms of what's hidden between the and the energy between the two of you. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, goodness. We have the King of Cups. It's Scorpio energy. The Page of Cups is Pisces. But Scorpio energy between the two of you. Both of you are falling in love, but you're not talking about it. The High Priestess is silent. You're silent. You're not speaking about this, but your hearts are merging. 
both of you are in this very, very calm state of mind. You have mastery over your emotions, but you're going into a very deep level of loving, this beautiful uncaging of hearts. Spirit's recommendation or advice, Nine of Cups, have fun, eat, drink, be merry, celebrate life. We see this beautiful rainbow of happiness. We see this beautiful energy of peacefulness, of joy. It literally is Spirit giving your relationship the blessing like a fairy godfather, fairy godmother energy. It is wish fulfillment. Pisces energy, there you are in your reading, Pisces. We have the short-term outcome for this relationship is a five of swords. So there is some sort of conflict or some sort of situation going on. Pisces, your person may see you as in a situation in which you have to, you may be going through a divorce because we do have like the Judge Judy card. Uh, but we're going to clarify because this is a very beautiful relationship. It is unfolding, and I think it's a pretty new relationship for most of you. Five of Swords energy, though, is not what we like to see for a short-term outcome. But it also can mean that there's some sort of situation that you can't really, that your person might be dealing with. Okay. Let's look and see why we have the Seven of Pentacles here for you. Oh, beautiful energy, the card of meditation, the card of really thinking through this, being at peace, at one with the world. It is the card of really being in balance. What, what do we have here for the Queen of Swords energy? Awakening. Okay, somebody is releasing something. That's just what I thought. It does look like there is a divorce process. The awakening card is the release of a judgment of divorce is usually the me meaning of it. Releasing something, being awakened to your heart space. Let's see what else we have. We have the Eight of Wands. They, oh my goodness. So your person has been going through a period of conflict with somebody else. Basically, Pisces, you're ignoring it. You know, you're just nurturing what's here, what feels good. But both of you want to move forward very rapidly. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Your person is really pushing to move forward. What else do we have? We have the Warrior of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles energy is the energy of nurturing the relationship. Taurus energy of being very grounded, very much in the energy of a powerful um, commitment that's, that both of you have felt in the recent past. The Two of Cups is here. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups repeats itself. You want to give one another your heart. You know, you're in the energy of this beautiful, uncaging releasing yourselves to really love to laugh to love to manifest you want to introduce your person to all of your friends it's a card of community and it's such a celebratory energy you're celebrating the fact that you came together the two of swords energy is also both of you are trying to really stay cool calm and collected you're not going to jump into anything quickly the two of swords says that you're both waiting for a completion with this awakening card so it does appear for many of you that um, there is a situation afoot that is holding up the relationship in terms of commitment at an outer level you know, a declaration of commitment to the world. But you, the two of you are just in the throes of a very deep, loving uh, relationship that is not to be denied. The, just a beautiful rose kiss and letting it go. Just absolutely maintaining your relationship with each other regardless of outside circumstances. So the Two of Swords is here because the Nine of Swords is here. So you, what we see here, Pisces, is that your person sees you as someone who has remorse and regret, someone who has lost sleep. What do you have a remorse and regret about? The awe, oh, the potential. So your person sees you as having not accepted this relationship right at the out 
at the beginning of it. They see you as a person who's coming in that you have confessed that you want a new beginning with them. They're very excited about it. They feel as though they're, you know, they're going to hold back though. Both of you are holding back to see what unfolds here, Pisces. The Eight of Wands, Temperance card, Reconciliation. I said that very slowly and awkwardly, but that is my number one card of people who've been in separation, people who didn't speak to each other. I feel as though there's been a period of time when you didn't speak to each other. Uh, I definitely feel as though there's been some sort of, for some of you, a divorce in the process or a completion of that relationship. The Page of Cups energy, the death card. So we see that your person wants, the, they're offering a new love after a breakup and reconciliation because we had the awakening card which is a judgment card you know releasing old wounds but the death and rebirth of a relationship because a page of cups is something brand new a new offer after what appears to be a separation or breakup that happened in the past something that was not fair the king of cups energy ten of pentacles oh my word legacy marriage both of you want to have this legacy that's been brewing beneath the surface for a very long time you're so happy with each other you're really in both you both want the same thing this is virgo energy living day to day in abundance having the good life together uh, both contributing to this energy of abundance and stability again very strong earth sign energy the nine of cups is clarified by the four of swords healing so the happiness that you've shared it looks like there was uh, four, of four of Swords, Five of Swords, Two of Swords. So there was a period of time it looks as though you didn't speak. But the love never diminished. It's absolutely letting it go. The Four of Swords, though, says, Spirit is saying that have fun, heal your hearts, because in that way you will be able to move forward. And the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love, again with that Two of Cups, the Ace to the Two, an incredible energy of healing, of happiness, of really, when we get one cup and nine cups, we have ten cups. That is happily ever after, legacy marriage. This is one of the most powerful Pisces readings I've seen all year. It's really interesting how so many signs are coming together. I highly recommend you watch your moon rising in Venus. The Five of Swords, the Six of Cups, a reunion after what appears to have been a breakup. It looks, the Five of Swords looks as though something very unfair happened. Both of you are willing to ignore the past. Both of you are willing to come together again in this new beginning in love. And Spirit is saying, go for it, Pisces. The Six of Cups is a reunion. It's a soulmate card again. And the Warrior of Wands, the King of Wands, fiery energy coming in, very passionate, very happy, very joyful, very strong Leo energy. Pisces, I am broadcasting from Chicago. I would love to know where you're watching the video from. Best reading that I've seen in recent months. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you again in another video. Enjoy the season. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.